Welcome back to the Electrician's 2 channel. Tonight I want to do something a little different for you guys. Uh, a little special, that's all. I'm uh, kind of bored and have anything to do, so I thought I'd just make a video of my little lab setup, uh, electronic lab setup in my home, and just take a picture of all, uh, all my meters. Uh, not all of them, but the ones that I can fit on, fit on my table. So we're gonna start. I'm just give you a first and give you a good look around of, of the shop. Then I'll tell you uh, what kind of meters I they are. If you're not, uh... okay. We're gonna start off with this one. You know, this is the Fluke 289 uh, True RMS. Um, digital multimeter, data logging multimeter. I've done a review on that before. This is my test 2700. This is the oldie but goodie. It's been out for a while. This was a, a direct comparison against the Fluke. I think it's a 27. Uh, and this is my Etchtech uh, MG300. That's an uh, insulation tester also. Right here is my ideal, uh, what was the name of it, the model number, 61486, uh, true RMS multimeter. Most of them I have, I'm going to try to turn them on for you, they were on, and I have all of them hooked to, connected to my Variat transformer right here, and I have them all set at 30 volts, uh, I think it's at 30 volts. Put that 35 and just see 35 volts and that is that 35 maybe off this thing here is down kind of give and take some but anyway it says 35 on here but the meters say 40 40 40 the ideal 41 uh, the TPI 40 etch tech 40 and the, and the flute 40 but back to where I was. This is the Etchtech uh, MG300. It's an installation test as well as a uh, digital multimeter, data logging uh, with data logging capabilities. This up here is uh, my Test Product International. The acronym is TPI. Uh, it's a 192.2 digital true RMS multi multimeter. It also have data logging capabilities. This here is my ProTech scope meter. And right now, you're showing the the waveforms in here, sine waves on it right now. The scope meter. See, I'm, I'm turning the voltage down so we get a better a better look at it. Uh, forgive me for the glare. Let me turn it back on. It just went off. Excuse me for the glare. That's it right there. And it's showing. Let me post it right here. Okay. It should be seen. Let me see. It's not right. So let me see what's going on with this thing right here. Uh, uh, it's on DC. It shouldn't be on DC. Should have a voltage. Set. Set. Exit. Now it should say, what is what is it now? Showing forty three volts. Forty three volts. And you can see at the top up here. Wait, I see 43 volts, okay. And bring the waveform down there. So you can get a look at it, like 25, 24 volts. Okay, well anyway, and um, that's my ProTech scope meter. Uh, Fluke, Fluke makes a scope meter also. 
This is both Protec, and this is my uh, singlet uh, SDS 1052DL. It's a, it's a 50 megahertz uh, uh, oscilloscope. And this is my FLIR DM92 to a two RMS digital multimeter. This is my IDEAL 61497 uh, true RMS digital multimeter. And this is my GW Insect, uh, Insect LCR meter, uh, model number 915. Uh, that's when I'm working on circuit boards and I'm testing out uh, uh, capacitors and all kind of components. And this is a no name brand right here. I just happened to pick this up on because I seen the YouTube video about it and it was cheap and he was, you know, kind of convinced me into just buying when it was so cheap for me to try it out. It's not a bad multimeter, but I wouldn't, you know, use it for professional use. So I just bought it and just to just check it out, like, just to kill my curiosity. The deep there is my 30, uh, 30 volt um, power supply, DC power supply by Unity. Um, again, what well, we did that one already. This is my Ampro. 38XR-A, true RMS multimeter. Here is my uh, a AEMC CA5205 multimeter. This is the average range of multimeter. It's not a uh, true RMS. And this here is my Agil 61-342 uh, true RMS multimeter. Uh, this is a direct comparison with the flu, I think the uh, 3, 117. 115 and 117. This is an idea also, 61-233. This is a uh, true RMS data acquisition uh, multimeter. This is uh, what looks just like an uh, electronic multimeter, electronic uh, multimeter. Uh, it's an oldie but goodie. It's still almost brand new. Uh, it works just fine. Um, I have no trouble with it at all. And here is the green one, uh, true RMS multimeter. They have data level, data level detection capabilities also. Uh, here is the, the beast, the uh, Fluke 87.5 AL87B True RMS Multimeter. This thing here is a beast. It's been around for a long time, and I think it's going to be around for a long time. Here is my collection of screwdrivers and uh, tools that I use when I'm on my bench. Uh, here is my Variac by Hub Flight. Uh, it goes up to 130 volts. Uh, and here is my Filtech. This is a, a arbitrary function of signal generation that I use from time to time. Here uh, is my Zoom uh, rework station that I do with the, uh, the soldering iron as well as the heat gun. This one is my Sony right there as well as my cleaning uh, sc scrubber right here that I put this into after I, after I didn't use it to clean it off. But, uh, and that's about it. I just wanted to show you guys uh, my setup. And I'll give you a good look at it again. And it's not all of my tools, but it's, um, I just wanted this all to fit on the counter for, as far as my test tools. I thought that you guys would enjoy looking at it. Uh, how you guys like that sign right there, man? <laughs> no trespassing. Uh, violators will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. I think it's kind of nice to have up there. Um, and I have a picture of uh, my breadboard and, you know, going to show my son how to do like, electronics. So I kind of put things up for him as well. So, it's got, you know, uh, references that he could refer to. And um, so with that being said, man, I want to thank you all for stopping by. I hope you guys were thrilled with this and, you know, found some entertainment and looking at my, my setup here uh, again. And next time I'll, I'll do something else with the, with the rest of my meters or uh, test instruments. Uh, in the meantime, happy Thanksgiving, and peace out to all of you, man, and you guys be safe out there. Peace.